to me, it's, it's extremely surprising under theism that a fully providential, omnibenevolent God would orchestrate this kind of bloodbath as the very means or mechanism by which creation is brought about, you know, like uh, humans and other sorts of sentient beings are brought about. Like, what kind of process? Anyway, it's, it's just very surprising to me. I'm not saying it's incompatible. You know, like, mm -hmm. those kind of inconsistency arguments are really hard to defend. Um, but on both sides, whether for or against God's existence. Um, but it does seem just extremely surprising. These are non, these are, these are moral, mere moral patients, right? They're not moral agents. Uh, and so it doesn't seem as though a pig would be like, oh yeah, so I just experienced this suffering over here. And so, <laughs> and it's like, and so I'm going to develop my character in such a way, yes. you know, it's like, no, uh, the, the pig, the pig is just, it's a pig. And so it just, <laughs> it, it just suffers. Um, yes. So anyway, it, it's just, it, it's rough. It's rough when you think about that. And just yes. the, the profound, like think of how protracted it is, like hundreds of millions of years of these non-human animal suffering. It's like, this is the very means by which a providential God orchestrated it. It's just, it's really surprising to my mind on theism. By contrast, it doesn't seem nearly as surprising on a view where, fundamental reality is just indifferent to the flourishing and languishing of, of creatures. Uh, fundamental reality doesn't give a damn whether the pig is, is suffering really um, or whether there's this protracted process. Uh, it just seems much more fitting in a worldview where um, there isn't such providential governance and direction from an omnibenevolent being. Um, so yeah, that, that's probably the best argument for atheism by my lights.